All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're on, right? Let me look. Oh, yeah. The old counter's going. Hi, friends. Doc's out there. Hang on. I just want to... There you go. Want this up just... Oh, sorry. My darn thumb. I keep forgetting that's where the camera lens is. Right there. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll get used to this. Although, I, honestly, I wouldn't count on the videos getting much better in quality. <laughs> I don't... I don't see that happening, uh, but uh, I love doing them, and hopefully you're enjoying reading them. i uh, reading them, listening to them, excuse me. Guy should tell you. Okay, there, I think I like that better. Okay. Still don't know if that's the right angle, but it'll have to do for now. Uh, I was going to mention this one sort of for uh, the group, <clears throat> although I will be posting this on Facebook too. I, I want to post it over to uh, the Lost Storytellers as well. It's a, it's an idea from an old geezer uh, that I thought you might like, uh, as you lost storytellers. I know you're always looking for anyone who's creative, like you folks are, is always looking for, uh, you know, new, uh, new areas uh, for inspiration. And it, I don't know, last night it just hit me. I said, you know, the, these, these young folks ought to try going to some of these old hot rod shows, car shows. Yeah. Uh, I DJ them. I, in fact, gosh, that's pretty much how I make uh, a bulk, the bulk of my money uh, as far as a DJ goes, uh, is hosting those events. Uh, car shows are fantastic opportunities uh, for anyone involved in the arts. Um, first off, it's fun to go. Uh, it, frankly, yeah. The, uh, you, you, if you look around, you know, you can Google car shows and you'll find, I'm sure there's four or five of them in your neighborhood uh, every month, uh, one place or another, you know, in your neck of the woods, shall we say. And they're, they're kind of cool in that it's basically people have gathered who know enough about uh, restoring old cars that, well, that's what they do. And some cases they soup them up, you know, with big old chrome engines and uh, <clears throat> or super paint jobs or big fat tires. And uh, they're uh, it, 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 after a while they get kind of surreal. Uh, they're they're just so beautiful. Some people recreate things like the Batmobile, uh, or they take a car from like 1910. And, uh, and and make it like the day it was made, you know, re restore it would be the right word. Sometimes there's cars that actually, believe it or not, used to run on steam, Stanley steamers. And I think there are other steam-driven cars, propelled cars. There's another thought. You know, you can, and if you're a photographer, I'm telling you right now, there is a trillion opportunities. Uh, oh, my God. You just bring a lot of film or have extra batteries if it's an electronic you know, a digital camera you're using, but oh my gosh. The only rule there is don't touch without permission. Yeah, that actually, that's the prime rule at a car show. Yeah, admire, but don't touch. And let, again, you can, you can ask the driver. I mean, if, if what you, if you want someone in the car or whatever, uh, again, don't just uh, think that you can uh, step in there and, and, uh, you know, put a crew into the, into the back of the car. That won't, that won't fly too well unless unless you've you've asked accordingly, um, but because honestly, some of the paint jobs on those cars <laughs> are are what a uh, they're 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 what a car would cost. Uh, I'm I'm not kidding. So, some of the paint, oh my god, and the work involved, and you know these people. Uh, I've seen I saw one guy one day at a car show take. I think it was two hours to clean one tire. Okay, you get the idea. I, if you got a big, drippy old ice cream cone, don't be hanging over the guy's car with it. Okay, is what I'm saying. And uh, But other than that, they're usually a very nice bunch of people. They'll be happy, oh, honored to tell you everything about it. Just allow a lot of time, because they, once they get started, they won't stop. Uh, but uh, it's, it's amazing. And, the, and, you know, they can give you some ideas on how to restore sheet metal, perhaps. Maybe some of you are sculptors and you found a nice uh, piece of metal that you could turn into, uh, uh, into a great work of art. Well, they could maybe give you some pointers on how to, uh, may, you know, maybe get it chromed or whatever it is you, you need to do. Um, 
again, the music, if you're a musician, quite often, I, I, I think if you're like punk rock, it might not go over too well. But if you do some of the more old traditional music, you might even be able to, at one time or another, get a gig at a car show. Even if you don't get paid, you'd, I'm sure you could certainly sell some CDs uh, if, you're a, if you're a good, talented band. These uh, shows tend to like oldies. Of course, now oldies to a lot of folks are 80s music and such. I play, uh, well, 50s and 60s at these things, uh, and uh, it seems to fly. So you'll get a good source of, uh, you'll, it'll be a good source of music inspiration, uh, um, sculpting, uh, artwork, color. Uh, they can tell you all about some of the paints they get, uh, which in some cases are unbelievably uh, uh, valuable paint. Um, it, it, it's just amazing. And they all have stories. You know, the thing is, you can get them talking about, especially if they're like my age, they, you know, in, in their late sixties, early seventies, uh, they'll, they, they'll tell you, uh, they can tell you what it was like back in the, if you saw the movie American Graffiti, well, that's what it was like. <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, but that's what it was like. And they could, they all got their stories about <clears throat> maybe uh, roping off a section of highway and drag racing on it. That Yeah, that kind of stuff. And, oh, hey, we're rotten kids. Uh, <laughs> so you'll have plenty to uh, uh, yak about. Uh, and, and many of them veterans. They might have some good veteran stories or they can tell you what life was like back, uh, you know, if you're looking to research uh, they can tell you a lot about what it was like in the 50s and 60s, 70s and such. Um, and, oh, you know what? Also, some of these cars have absolutely unreal sound systems. I mean, they could be heard, uh, yeah, five miles away. I mean, you know, if the wind's right. They also have cars that bounce. Yeah, you can get it. Well, you've seen these, I think. You know, yeah, the cars, they got them. Uh, I mean, honestly, you, you just can't imagine, and you know, not not just cars, but you can go you can go to these shows, and maybe you can go to a boat show where they've got some really cool boats. Uh, there's motorcycle shows like you wouldn't believe. Uh, also, you know, what's rather interesting is uh, military shows. Cause you can get some good stories from people who may have been veterans, served, and they got uh, again great stories they might share with you. Um, <clears throat> good place for doing your research. Uh, air shows. You can especially get to some of the older uh, uh, air shows where they've got the World War II, World War I uh, fighter planes. They're always amazing. And I'm not so sure, but I think there's some spots you can go where uh, they have uh, like railroad shows. You know, yeah, there's different. I know like uh, up in Scranton, they have an area called Steamtown. And I think on occasion they bring in some of these really big old uh, steam locomotives, maybe even fire them up, mm -hmm. move them out a little. Yeah, you can take a little tour. I know uh, in New Jersey, uh, well, there's a there's a railroad out of Flemington, steam locomotive, and the uh, and I think in the town of oh, what's the name of that? Oh, I'm not East in Phillipsburg, New Jersey. There's a, a steam locomotive that runs along the Delaware River. Rather nice little thing to see. Uh, so you get the idea, yeah. You might want to uh, just check out some of these little festivals and shows. Also, a lot of car clubs uh, will have, hot rod car clubs, will have what they call cruise nights, like the Wanderers do up at the Chatterbox. If you live in New Jersey, the Chatterbox, while it's still in existence, uh, is an absolutely amazing, uh, again, opportunity for um, video and photos uh, because it looks just like a an old drive-in restaurant of the 50s. All that glitch and stuff, yeah. And on a Saturday night when the Wanderers do their car, their cruise night there, you had two or 300 cars there, which is kind of fun to see. And, and there's hamburgers. Again, the big thing, though, is always treat the cars with respect. Stay back unless you're, uh, you're invited, you know. Get to know the people, and they're, they're usually very friendly folks. They just don't want anyone scratching the paint or sitting around in the car. I know, talk about an op, I don't know if this is a good opportunity or not, uh, but I remember one car show I was at, a guy walks by in uh, to my uh, DJ booth and he says, uh, Doc, meet Mary over here. I said, oh, hi, Mary. Pretty girl, you know, I guess in her uh, probably early 20s, late teens, and she's dressed in a bikini. 
And I said, whoa, you know, and she said, and, and yeah, she, uh, oh, she really was pretty. And he, he says, look, we're, please announce what we're going to do is um, uh, Mary here uh, will pose on a person's car or in the car and we're charging 20 bucks a photo, you know, and she can sit with, uh, you know, can she can sit with the driver or whatever. And if, well, you know, that was going pretty good. They were making some money. They were making some money until someone realized Mary was wearing suntan lotion and it was getting all over the uh, upholstery and the and if she was stretched out, you know, posing on the trunk of the car or the hood, uh, yeah, all of a sudden she's leaving all these uh, like um, grease spots. <laughs> oh, and then the wives caught on. Yeah, that, did, <laughs> that kind of put the kibosh on it. I got a picture. I think she was helping me DJ was kind of yeah she's a nice girl i you know it's funny now let's see that was about 15 and she was she's probably a mom with about three kids now well bless her heart i, th I thought it was a good idea and uh, no harm done except for that uh suntan oil didn't help uh other than that and uh oh so there you go uh i i hope that's of some interest uh, to you you if you look around you will see shows all over the place and they're they're really fun. This, uh, for me, uh, this uh, Sunday, the 27th, uh, I'll be doing that Memorial Motor Madness in Hackettstown at the M&M Mars Chocolate uh, uh, facility in Hackettstown on High Street. That's a great opportunity. All sorts of cars there. And uh, you, a photographer, the, you, you, your head will explode. And as an author or something, you'll find more stories than you can shake a stick at. Okay? So there you go. I'll see you later, and oh, and if you can, I'm sorry, if you can think of something uh, that would benefit hot rodders, and you, you can create it, you, you, most of these shows have uh, like a vendor's area, and you, you could probably make a few bucks for yourself, too. Plus, they got hot dogs and stuff, you know, cheeseburgers and all, oh, yeah, so <laughs> you won't leave hungry. You shouldn't, anyway. Okay, I'll see you later, friends. Thank you, and uh, God bless. I hope that's of some help.